Okay. So multiple linear regression. One way, well, one way we can tell it's multiple linear regression is that my stat lab says this is a multiple regression model. But if we look at the model itself, we can tell that it's multiple linear because there's x1 and x2. There are two x variables. Simple linear is when there is one x variable. Multiple linear is when there are two x variables, two or more. What would the interpretation of x1 be? Well, x1 is exactly like a slope, but it's a slope when you change x1. So 1.78, the first slope, is only four changes in x1. So the coefficient is if x1 increases by one, the response unit, the response variable will increase by the slope. And that's exactly what the slope does. If we kind of ignore this rest of it, x1 goes up by one, y goes up by the slope. So the response variable will increase by 1.78 on average. And then there's this last sent last phrase here, x2 cannot change. Right? If we keep x2 the same, then the only thing changing is x1, and so the 1.78 is the only slope that comes into play. Okay? If we change x1 and x2 at the same time, then it's a real mess. So when we're looking at multiple regression, we're thinking change x1 by itself, keeping x2 the same, or we can think of changing x2 by itself, keeping x1 the same. Uh, Kendra, yes. For this coefficient, ignore x2, because the only time this coefficient comes into play is when it's multiplied by x1. Well, 1.78 is the slope here. If this number was minus 4, then it would say if x1 increases by 1 unit, then the response will decrease by 4. It's just like with uh, just one x variable slope. It's just for multiple regression, since it's too complicated to analyze when everything is changing at the same time, the first thing we do is to analyze when one variable changes and everything else stays the same. Um, it, yeah, it depends, Kendra, absolute value, it depends on how it's worded. You could say it will decrease by four or it will change by minus four. You just have to, uh, several different ways of saying it. Okay, so that's question eight.